this is Rob. If you're watching this video, you probably know who he is. But in short, Rob was a video game accessory for the original Nintendo Entertainment System back in 1985. It would supposedly play video games with you. The reality is that it would pick up control commands through TV screen flashes, using a light sensor in its left eye. It was slow, unreliable, it had only two arguably not very good compatible games ever made, but it sure looked cool. Rob was soon forgotten, and nowadays, even if you are lucky enough to have a complete working set, chances are you don't have laying around an old CRT TV. You see, Rob relies on the refresh rate of those old TVs to be able to decode different instructions, so he was made completely obsolete by modern HD TVs. Now here at Croxo, we are geeks, makers and retro gamers at heart and wanted to find a way to bring back Rob without doing an invasive modification. After all, Rob is now a collector's piece. Thanks to the great people at Adafruit and the awesome folks at the Nintendo Age and Atari Age forums who took the time to decode Rob commands and share with the community, we came up with this. An all brand new set of goggles for Rob. With them, he'll be able to see and get the instructions he understands. And using this little app that we made, he can now take the instructions we give him. I think he's ready to play video games again. Let's see how useful can it be. Rob, can you give me that marker, please? Yeah, he's slow. But hey, he's almost 35. That's gotta be ancient in robot years. Thanks, I guess. If anyone wants to know how these goggles work, this is what's inside. We designed and built this board. It has a Bluetooth low energy module, also known as BLE or Bluetooth Smart, powered by a cone cell battery. We modeled the goggles to fit Rob's face and 3D printed it. Rob optics are not really about light intensity or even color, but timing. So we use this simple SMD red LED to flash Rob instructions. We also don't really need to worry about filtering external light. Since this is all enclosed when the goggles are on, our small LED is the only light that gets picked up. On the back of the board, there are two bigger LEDs that light up when he's executing a command. That's really just there to give Rob an even more 80s robot vibe. This is a side passion project of ours, and we're only building a handful of working prototypes. The iOS app is a development version, so it's not published in the App Store. We also are very much aware that there's not too many working robs out there. But if you happen to be interested to try these goggles, we'll be more than happy to figure something out. Just subscribe, like, and comment below, or contact us by social media or email, and we'll work it out. So that's our Rob Control demo video. Thanks for watching up to this point. See you around.